I've been always very interested in optics since I was young. So that's why I started my, my studies in uh, astrophysics, actually. Then I moved to art history. I studied, actually, in parallel art history and physics, and my goal was to combine those both. I did a first master where I combined the optical method to study works of art. And I moved after to hardcore physics, like optics, because I realized that if I want to do something that implies uh, optics for works of art, I needed to have a very strong background in physics. So that's why I chose to go back to physics in uh, Paris, and I did a second master there in nonlinear optics. So it was still related to um, non-destructive methods, but not to study works of art, but to study fragile samples like um, cells and human cornea. And after that, I got a job in uh, Washington, D.C., where I was still using non-destructive methods related to optics, but to study paintings. So Rembrandt, Raphael's, and Van Gogh, and all these things. And after that, I decided that uh, I wanted to do really my PhD uh, with nonlinear optics, with fragile samples, but on neurons. I searched everywhere in the world to, to find this specific topic, and I found that they offered that here in EPFL. So that's why I left my job there in Washington and I came straight to Switzerland. I am using a microscope that we develop here in our lab, and I am detecting specific signals on excitable cells, such as neuron, in a non-destructive way, and I'm doing movies about their excitation, their behavior through time. So what I do, I'm using cells, and I'm using these microscopes, so I kind of combine bio and photonics together, and I extract uh, useful data from signals on uh, cells, and um, we develop a non-destructive but lab-free technique. So we don't use any electrode, we don't use any dyes to study electrical behavior of excitable cells, because we have a microscope that is sensitive enough that can give us signals that is uh, totally uh, directly linked to uh, the electrical behavior of the cells. What is good with EPFL? Everything is in the same place. So you can just go and talk to someone that is like specialized in neuroscience or like in um, patch clamping or like after you can go for like data processing people. And this is very fruitful. With this dynamic, we, we learn from each other and, and we go faster, uh, I hope. <laughs>